topping up the um, rebel for a little spin out. Look, can you see? <laughs> Wait until you hear this, guys. Wait until you hear this. Sean's kindly going to put some fuel in for me. Are we all right, babes? We're just saying that the gauge is a little bit dodgy, but we need to sort it out so that we know what's what when we um, we go on tour. So, get some fuel in this and speak to you guys in a minute on the road. Bye. Well, good morning, guys. And welcome back to Bikes and Brushes. And I'm on the Honda Rebel, the very noisy Honda Rebel. And it's a beautiful day. I couldn't be any happier, honest to God, guys. The bike is getting there. I've got a couple of changes to the bike, which I will stop soon and show you. Um, so excited, as always. <laughs> Sharing the excitement, guys. Um, the fairing, as you can see on the front here, doesn't it look brilliant? I'm going to do a few things to that. Um, the exhaust, as you can hear. The lid. Hello, I had this on yesterday. Um, it does need to bed in. There's a few things we need to do. The mic um, hasn't got any covering on it, so that's interfering with me with my ears a little bit. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I've got it. Um, see how the bike is adjusting to this exhaust as well. Going round corners and too high a gear, you know that kind of thing. But I absolutely am giddy at the noise when I change gear, the popping and farting. <laughs> I've never had a noisy exhaust, guys. So I do apologise for all the excitement. Um, I'll try and tone it down a little bit. I don't want to frighten old folk or go and pass them. So yeah, um, I'll also show you um, a new reg plate as well. Um, and it's got it's got the sticker on in accordance for me to travel abroad. What else have I got? Fairing, exhaust, lid. Oh God, yeah. One of the one of the reasons why we've got this fairing is um, I want a sat nav. You know, you've you've seen the sat nav that Sean's got on his bike. Well, I'm getting a little baby one for my bike as well. So, oh, you're gonna let me through, mate? Oh God, no, you're not. Never mind. So yeah, that's gonna sit right on the front. Um, can you just see about here, guys? So be nicely protected from the heat of the. Um, the Spanish and French sun. What else? It just seems to be so much all at once. Um, I have sourced somewhere in witness. I'll put the description up. Let's just. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, yeah, the details. The details of the bike. So I'm going to get the fairing. Um, the side panels and the front mud guard all um, co all coloured so that it's matching the Honda colour of my bike. So as I was saying, um, I took the front panel off over the light. I'm going to take that to witness and um, get them to match the colour so that all matches up and it all um, looks quite smart. So we're going to stop in a minute and um, take you around the bike and let you see what, um, what we've done in preparation for the tour. And yes, we're booking the ferry today so that it'll be secured, get my bike um, booked on the ferry and then decide where our first stop's going to be.
what I do need to sort out as well guys is um, what kind of luggage I'm going to have on the bike obviously want to keep it streamlined so that means Sean can filter and get from A to B without worrying too much about the size of our bike so I don't really want side panniers I just want kind of a good strong roll bag So any ideas, do share. Oh, I'm going to have to lift that up, it's quite dark. Okay, let's have a look at this gorgeous bike. So nice to have the heat, isn't it? So look, this is it. The new exhaust. Diablo. Absolutely love it. Just, it's just so, so nice to have that noise when you're changing gear, which I've, I've never had before. Um, the fairing, okay. The back wing, should I say. Okay, so, can you see that? Yeah, you can. So I'm going to take, I'm off next, not next week, the week after. I'm going to take this, the bat wing and the side panels to get um, colour matched to the tank. So that all of that will be exactly the same colour. And then with the possibility of bikes and brushes to go across the top. How's that sound? Sounds stonking, doesn't it? Northwest Customs Witness. And then, like I said, here we'll have the sat nav. I know I'll be following Sean, but that's not the point, is it? You like to know when your twisties are coming in. You know, I'm going to change these back to um, my normal grips not needed anymore and then obviously in this winter the next winter i'll have um gloves heated gloves oh oh another thing another thing uk and bikes and brushes almost there we're just having a convo guys about glasses can you see that <laughs> That's a proper machine. <laughs> They're proper tyres, aren't they, guys? So what we're doing is we're talking about the glasses in the lid here. So I have already said they need it needs to bed in, but there is a sl slit here in the in the lid where the glasses could go in between two pieces of foam. But it feels so crazy. Sean's saying I need another pair of glasses, which isn't very good because these are three hundred pound and they've got my lenses in. They're not just posy sunglasses. Just while I'm gassing on, ten percent off if you want um, anything to do with the ultimate add-ons. I'm not going anywhere without this. Love it and these guys. So yeah, description in the link. Description in the link. <laughs> <laughs> Tins ten, I think it is. Link in the description. Link in the description. You're guaranteed I'm going to get it back to front, inside out and upside down. Speak to you guys soon. Well guys, it's absolutely official. I absolutely love this exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to have a little bit of noise. Let's have a little chat with that guy then. So yeah, 
loving it um loving the excitement can't wait to plan the the tour on where we're going to start off um when we what the first hotel is going to be so please like please subscribe and follow this journey and any messages you want to give us put it in the um, comments below and thanks everybody for following me um, and if you want to you want to support the channel buy us a coffee guys that would be absolutely fabulous to give the bike a little test ride when it goes fast with this new exhaust guys oh baby to beep give us a wave babe <laughs> No, I don't want to, I don't want to, because it's somebody else's bike, and it's like... I don't know what bloody gear I'm in. Have you got it? It's quite. Oh, you know. It was so easy. Oh my god, yeah. Like you say, you, the weight is good because. I mean, it's probably the heaviest bike that I've rode because it kind of makes it feel solid and grounded. <laughs> 